Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome on into Clay Share Live. I'm Jessica Putnam Phillips. And tonight we're going to have a special guest joining us. We have Debbie Delacruz from De La Design Gifts. She is the sponsor for Clay Share for the whole month of June. So what you see before me are some of the things I've made using Debbie's products. She makes these really fabulous cutters, like this big one right here. Look at this. This is great. That's what I made this platter with. She also makes these little smaller ones that have stamps built in, but it's a, a two-part system, and that's what I use to make this cute little heart. We did these Valentines, Victorian Valentines. If you wanna go back and find the tutorial for this, you can make one of these. This one has little puppy paws on it and hand-sculpted flowers, which I also teach you in the class how to do. And then these little vases, and she has the templates right here to make it easy to do, and then this guy right here was fun. There's a hand-built mug that I did, and I used her little Nomi stamps and cutters that she has to create the little applique on the front. So you can see that little gnome guy there. And then uh, it's not too early to start thinking about the holidays. So if you want to get a jump start, check out all of her ornament cutters that she has. I have gingerbread boy, gingerbread girls, a little reindeer. You can make a whole gingerbread family. And I know everybody's thinking it's June, it's too early. It's not too early. If you make them now, they'll be done. And you're not gonna be sitting there the week before Christmas frantically trying to get them all done. So think ahead for the holidays now. All right, so tonight, Debbie is gonna show us how to make a really fabulous berry basket. She's also donating a $50 gift certificate for the giveaway tonight. Now that's $70 for those of you who are international, so it'll help offset shipping and everything. And this month, Debbie is the sponsor, as I mentioned, and that means you can get a discount when you use the code. And I believe that is, we're gonna have Debbie tell you the code because we have two. We have one for premium members, which is 20% off. That's only for premium members of ClayShare. It's a little extra bonus with your membership. And then we have one for everybody else, which is still fabulous. It's 15% off. but I don't want to give the wrong one, so I'm going to let Debbie do it when she comes and join us. All right, all right, I've talked, I've talked enough. Let's go see Debbie, and she's going to show us how to make a berry basket. Hey, Debbie, how you doing? Debbie, how you doing? I'm good. Hi, how are you? Um, I am so uh, great. Program. I'm thrilled to have you with us again. Well, thank you so much. I just always love being here with you guys and being a part of your family. Uh, the discount, I believe, is June Clay Share. Um, all one word. Someone might double check that and, and chime in because I don't. I set that up last week. <laughs> June Clay Share. Pretty it sure. Is. It's, it's okay. I wanted to make Perfect. sure. June Clay Perfect. Share, all capitals. And that's 15% okay. off for everybody. 15% off Premium members, uh, mm -hmm. check on Clay Share Prime and yeah, so premium members, I shared the code where the premium members can get that. We're not going to share that here because that's only for the members. So we're going to make this berry bowl. I think a lot of people have seen it online already or seen the photos of it. I went a little extra on this one and did some bows and some scallop trim and the handle. Um, I made a little plate to go with it. Uh, this is just a uh, five-inch um, GR Pottery form my five, a five inch square. And I used the six and a half inch scallop, uh, scallop square cutter with that one, which is also what we're going to use to create the trim around the bowl. So kind of trying to make things a little bit multi-purpose here. And then I also made using the same one we did one we did a little bit different handle there if we have time we'll do that get this in the way for some um and i did the same scallop trim but i did it kind of at a different you know did a triangle instead of going across just kind of try and get some variety out of the same thing this is our cutter um it's kind of a cross uh, it's got some notches in it. So that's what creates the holes in the side here is having this notch here. Uh, you could probably close that up if you wanted to. Um, I haven't tried it yet, but I figured I would at some point. But let's get started. 
because I know we need to go fairly fast on this because there's a lot of stuff to do. So I've rolled out my clay already. Um, I'm probably a quarter of an inch thick, uh, about the same thing I use for mugs, everything else. So um, I'm gonna use this one here, one of my favorites from Jessica, although I don't know if we can still get these. We're gonna use this one. <laughs> I already compressed my clay on both sides. If I need to move camera angles at all or anything, let me know. So we've got our piece here and we're really just gonna make this one kind of simple and we're just gonna stamp our shape out. It may look like I'm, I'm talking on there too, um, on Facebook because my, uh, uh, my daughter-in-law is signed in as me. So if there's any questions, she may be answering them. <laughs> <laughs> Let's cut off some of this around here and move it out of the way. My clay is really, really soft. So we may have to do a few different stages. And I did make one um, a little bit earlier. I started one in case uh, we ran out of time because I just opened a new bag and I had no idea it was this soft. I mean, it's really, really soft. Are you using B-Mix for that or? No, I use Kentucky Mudworks and this is hmm. their ice spin. Um, I don't have anywhere to get Laguna near me, so I would have to. Order oh, it doesn't it, matter. I, I just was wondering. Yeah, yeah. Well, everyone always wants to know what people are using, so. Um, so this is the whole slot cutter. Um, I made this a while back. Um, I know people have seen the different uh, soap cutters that I do, and I just thought it would be fun to offer just this by itself, so it could be done with different things. And then when I was, I am, I'm cutting in and out, Kenzie says. Um, I don't, I don't know if there's much we can do about it. Uh, when I, yeah, I think it's just, you know, everyone, we're connecting with Debbie via Wi-Fi and, you know, her Wi-Fi, we're just all um, <laughs> having to That's just bear with it at the mercy of it exactly but uh we'll do the best we can let me ask kev kev the replay should be good though hopefully so we're clean on our end so the oh, replay great. if you're watching this live and it's cutting in and out um because our end is clean we'll just the replay won't have the cutting in and out so I kind of got the idea from seeing this cute little bowl that I bought a while back years ago to do something for a party or something. And I was getting ready to throw them out and I noticed it would be really great to make one of these out of clay. So what I do here when I'm lining this up is I'm lining up kind of the bottom edge with if we had like an imaginary line here where that joins. Um, that's where I'm lining up this edge here. And I'm just eyeballing it then and cutting that out. And we'll do the same thing here. Oh, this clay is so soft. And it happens from time to time. So if you're rolling yes. out your clay and you find out it's too soft, folks, just let it sit for about 15 minutes yes. as a flat slab <laughs> and it should stiffen up. 
But you yeah. know, you never know. Sometimes you roll your clay out and it's perfect and it's good to go. But sometimes you right. just gotta wait a few minutes. Usually I'm pretty good about working right out of the bag, but this stuff is really, really different. I just opened up a new box. So you got a heat gun or a hair dryer? Um, your, I do actually, but I think what we'll do is we'll kind of clean this up a little bit. But I know a lot of people were asking about the um, making the bow on the side, so we can do that while this kind of sets up a little bit, and then also um, we could cut out the scallops and get those ready. So I'm just kind of gently perfect. So doing my edges here. What were you gonna say? Are you gonna have these available in larger sizes? Folks were wondering. I was kind of thinking about it. So I did do also a bowl and I was gonna show those. Um, I did another bowl set that just does not have that notch in it. And that's this set here. Um, and this is a four inch, a five inch and a six inch. And these bowls end up looking like this um and it's a nesting set i went up to six inch i may end up going up bigger on that and same with this one this one i only did it's basically a six inch square um so i may go bigger or smaller um when i made the fall basket i thought it would be really nice to do like a bread basket um which would need to be a little bit bigger <laughs> So I like to just kind of use, I use this blue mud tool sponge all the time to kind of clean up my edges. And we'll do kind of top and bottom. I don't wanna stretch my clay too much right now though. I'm kind of afraid to flip that over right now. So I'm gonna set this aside and let's cut scallops out. So the scallops here, what I did was get that back out of the way again. I just took my straight edge and Then I lined up around right here at like this top scallop. And I just cut out several of these shapes. Is that on camera? And I needed four of these to go around. Actually, two of them, and then two of them I just used part of the section for. I have silence on my end. I can hear you. Oh, can yeah. you hear me? <laughs> I thought I could hear. There's just no talking. It's so quiet. It's so quiet. <laughs> it's just so quiet. Yeah. So this was so how I did the berry bowl where I did it on the side, the one with the, the handles. And then this one, we'll go ahead and just cut one out. 
but I used the same cutter and on this one, I just cut my piece about like that. And you could actually cut the whole square out if you had the room, but I just cut that piece and then I did my straight edge and just went to here. So that's kind of two different ways that you can do do your your sides. And of course, we want to do a really fun, cute little stamp on those. So most all of my minis work out really well, which is nice because I do these monthly mini freebies and every month there's a different one. Um, so we've done like the gourd would be cute and the pine cone and the snail and the bee was one that I did on this one. I love the um, bee. Yeah. Yeah, it's a fun one. I mean, who doesn't love bees, right? <laughs> so we'll just do the little daisy, I think, for this one. And I just kind of rocked it in each of these. Usually don't stamp clay quite this soft, but I think we'll be okay. Just make sure I don't go too deep. And we'll just do one side for now. So there is our cute little border there. And we would go ahead and just repeat that for all of them. But I will move that out of the way. I don't think I'll do a handle tonight because I know this clay can't take it. Um, even if I did that first, I think it would be way too, way too soft for that. And just because a really great class on making a basket and the handle is in there. So you could use that class. So mm. we will do the bow. And I did make a bow that I set here to the side earlier. So there's the little bow that we'll make and put that on the side. This one's a little bit bigger than the one I made on, on my bowl. So this quarter inch thick, and this is definitely something you want soft clay for. We're gonna thin that down probably to about an eighth of an inch. So we had a few premium members ask about the special code just for them that okay. if you're having trouble finding the code for you, if you're a premium member of ClayShare to save the 20% off, we yes. did share it in this week's Good Morning ClayShare, and it is on ClayShareprime.com, the private social media site for only, only for the premium members. We will send an email out just to okay. premium members, and you will get the code information and everything in there. So check your inbox for that later. It'll be after the broadcast. Can't do it right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, one thing at a time. <laughs> one thing at a time. I'm going to cut some strips that are about five eighths inch wide. And I would recommend doing two of these at a time if you're doing them on both sides. That way you get them to be even, but I'm just gonna build one for making it quick. So the loop part, I used about five inches, I think. So we've got our five inch strip. And then for the tail part, I think this was about three inch on this one. It's a little longer than the one I made for the basket, so. Actually, I think it was about two and a half. So let's let's go with two and a half again. So you need this is for your top part. These are your hang downs, your tails, I guess. And then we just need a little section for the center. Hopefully you can see this okay to, to do it. Um I kind of rounded my edge just a little bit so that it looked a little more like a ribbon. And 
and then I just took that halfway point. Can you see that on camera? And I'm just gonna score just a little bit here. This clay is so soft and you do want soft clay for this. Otherwise- Can you scoop forward just a little bit? I can this way? You just, oh, I don't know. Is that Debbie better? Here. There, there we go, that's better. Is that better? Okay. So I just scored a little bit here yeah, in the center. You need to go in towards the center more, yes. And then I'm just kind of gonna squish that a little bit. And this is why you want soft clay for this part. And you can even, if I knew where my tools were, I don't, <laughs> there we go. You can kind of round this out a little bit and kind of make it look a little more like a ribbon. And then we'll take these pieces and this is our tail. Can you see that part? And we're just cutting off our tail end. You can there. just barely see it. Just barely. Okay. This way? Yeah, scooch in a little more. There you go. Yes, okay. that's good. That's much better. There we go. Okay. So I've cut my two pieces that way. I'm going to take this and kind of curl it up a little bit until I have that shape there. And then there's the front view of it. That helps at all. And then same thing with this one. I'm just curling it up some. And then I'll put them side by side, see how they look. They're pretty messy. I'm kind of working far away from myself. So everything's going to be a little bit messy. I'm just going to score the sides. and just kind of squish those two together like that. Then we're just gonna take and flatten that edge right there where we squished it together. And basically we're gonna line it up this way. So I've got a little bit here to trim off. We'll do that. I have found that sometimes it's easier to build this at this point on the basket then, put these on the basket and then this, um, just so that you're not bending it around too much, but we're gonna finish the bow here. So we will attach these two together. And then this piece here, we want to kind of just thin it down a little bit and round that edge a little bit more. And we're going to put it here and then kind of wrap it a little bit. So we don't need that long. And there's our bow, a little on the messy side, but that works. So oh, that will go on really the cute. side after we put our handle on. And of course we could decorate any way we wanted. You could do um, the fondant mats and make roses and different things like that. I think would be a lot of fun. So, See how my clay is looking. Uh, if you want, we could go ahead and do the handle, this style handle too, real quick, while we wait on that clay to set up a little bit. 
So that one I use, this is my uh, garden plaque cutter. Um, it goes with the garden stakes and it actually works for quite a bit of other things. So when I did these handles, and again, you'll want to do two at the same time. So you kind of make sure that you get them the same. But we're just going to cut this one out. I didn't get that. Could you try? Your Siri is on. on. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Mine's always on too. She's always listening. Always on. Always listening. So we've got this cute little plaque here. And all I did was take and let's clean up our edges a little bit. I took and kind of folded it in this way, like um, like a bow tie, I guess. Hopefully you can see this okay the way I'm doing it. So we basically have this. And then I would do both of them this way and kind of bend them together to make sure that you kind of get them the same. But I kind of bent it around a little bit. And a little bit. And then this went on the side like this, just Put it on the side there and attach it, smooth it on a little bit, reshape a little. But that's just kind of a fun, quick, easy way to do a handle that could be on the side of like a little casserole. Not really a usable handle, but a decorative one. So there's that. Um, let's try and make this bowl. So let me clear some space. I feel like I should be telling entertaining stories like Jessica does when she does this. <laughs> I don't know if I can be entertaining and do pottery at the same time. <laughs> uh, I find you, I, I like being with you. So I think it's fabulous. <laughs> I'm going to flip this. I know my clay is stretching a little bit. So I think for demo purposes, we'll get the idea. I don't know that this one is actually gonna survive or not, but Let's finish cleaning up these inside edges. And you could use the wax paper or uh, not wax paper, plastic for this if you wanted. I won't get too picky. And those here, of you so who are watching that are asking about the sizes of cutters, Debbie, you shared a tool list of everything that you were using I, tonight I, for the broadcast. I did share. I did so share folks, you can go find, yeah, so you guys can go find that. I believe you shared it on the ClayShare Facebook page and on Instagram, did you? Uh, I don't think I put it on Instagram. We'll make sure. We, I, I can add it there. You can put it on Instagram, it's on Facebook. So on this one. Yeah, okay. we'll get it. And I cut on this one. Can you see where I'm cutting? this way and that way. So I'm cutting my 45 degree angle and I'm doing, it might be easier to stand and maybe you can see on the screen better. Oh, the plaque cutter wasn't on the list. That's why. Which one is that? Just mentioned. The plaque the cutter, plaque. I guess, wasn't on the list. I think I have so it, it at the, the bottom is kind of optionals, okay. and it says garden plaque cutter. Okay, so that, so that is, was the garden I, plaque cutter. Yes. And then I also mentioned that the handle end cutter, that is what I used on this one, kind of on the inside here, is I used this cutter. So those are kind of your optional things, you know. Well, it's all optional. <laughs> and you can decorate however you like. <laughs> so I have uh, undercut and 
and did my 45 degree on all of these. I'm going to go ahead and score them. Like I said, it's a I perfect really season for berry bowls, berry baskets right now. I mean, you guys, I don't know when your berries start. Ours usually are the end of the month. Usually end of June, uh, we get berries. Ours have, ours have been going already. So I think it depends on what kind. I think blackberries are later, but I think strawberries have already been, been ready, I think. Um, so these sponges kind of work great for just doing a prop here. Um, I don't know if, if this is gonna prop enough, but we're gonna we're gonna go for it. So this is kind of something, depending on how your clay is, where you're working with it, you may or may not need these, but yeah, my my others kind of part way stood up on their own when I did this part, but we can make it work. Make it work. You could also keep Ooh. some shop towels or uh, plastic bags and use them to prop things up as well, or yes. other pots. So yeah. whatever you got, uh, glaze bottles would work. Whatever yeah, you've got I nearby. I've done that before too. <laughs> uh, I didn't slip these. Not sure it needs it with this, but we are just going to do a slight overlap one. Hopefully you can see that there. We're just doing that slight overlap like you would with a mug. Don't think we're gonna be able to keep this very square. I do have one set aside though that I can show you on. So that will work, but this gives you the idea on how to do it. So we've assembled. On my other ones, I was able to immediately take these away and it's held up a little more square. This one's kind of sagging. They do sag just a little bit anyway. And I have found that if you kind of, hopefully you can see in the top view here, kind of just push down with your finger here and push that up, you'll see it's not sagging quite as much now. You can also um, adjust your shape too. So if folks don't want a perfectly square one, you can make right. it more of a spherical square, you know, have and, a little more rounded, or you could add scallops to the edges at the top. You know, I know you're doing absolutely. a little scallop draped on the side, but you could actually do the scalp ruffled edge on it and that would change it up too. So there's so many possibilities to what and you can do to that. That's what I'm excited about seeing how everyone makes them. I did on the uh, new square bowl template that I just showed a little bit ago. I did do one of those where I did the spherical, uh, almost a circle, kind of matched up with the GR pottery forms, the, the spherical shape there. And I'll post some pictures of that later, but that's kind of it there. One thing I did worry about is these corners here, if they would crack or pull too much. So on the ones I did, I actually kind of pinched them in a little bit. You'll see here the difference between this one here is a bit more open, which is cute, but I didn't know how well it would stay. And this one's a little bit more closed. So to do that, I actually just took some little balls of clay, like a little pea-sized ball, and I had scored there. I'll just do one to show you, and then we'll set this aside and work on the other one. But I just took a little bit of it there, and then from the outside, I kind of pinched it a little bit and smoothed that just to reinforce because I was worried that that would crack too much there. So that kind of gives you a little bit of an idea. I smoothed it out then and, you know, fixed it up a little bit better, but that that's what I did on all four 
to give it a little bit more reinforcement. So we're going to set this aside because it's barely hanging on. Whoops. It'll make it if you don't <laughs> drop it. <laughs> It'll make it. It'll make it. It'll make but it. But I don't think we want to add to it. <laughs> so yeah. luckily, I made this one right beforehand. And it's holding up a little better. It was soft clay, but not as soft because it was the previous bag. So we can go ahead and start adding our trim here. And we could do, if we wanted to do this way, obviously we would just, it would go like that and we would do all four and we would make it that style. Or we can do this style. I think you could also do like the fondant mats with these um, and make some pretty decorative trim. I did take this edge here and kind of squish it down a little more so it's not quite as thick. And I had done the same thing up here already. And I think we're not too far off. This is a little softer than this, but I don't think it's too bad. So we will slip and score this. And then I'll just slip and score this area here at the top. I was sad I didn't get to go to open studio this weekend. Looked like everyone had a fun time. So I went edge to edge here. And the fact that this kind of wrapped around, I think helped reinforce those corners a little bit too. If you were not doing trim, you might maybe use um, a little bit of clay on the inside here and reinforce there. So there is one side done, and we'll just continue that around. Let's soften this edge a little bit first. So do you have any tips for folks when they're using the stamps one person asked that when they're stamping, they're not getting, like they're pressing in a little too much on one side. Do you have any tips so that they can stamp more evenly? One thing I would say with a small stamp, it's gonna be pretty easy. So we'll do this real quick. Um, you're not gonna get a lot of variance, but I still like to kind of rotate a little bit as I'm stamping and that gets it a little more even. Let me grab a bigger stamp. So like here's a bigger one that is going to be a little bit harder to get even. So again, if you kind of rock it a little bit, and this is really, really soft clay, so it's going to definitely push in different. If you kind of rock that a little bit, you'll get a little more even of a stamp. The other thing is, that because these are a, like a sharp edge and not a soft edge, like a rubber stamp, you can find that spot. And you can find that spot again if you have a, an area that didn't stamp well, and then you can go back in and stamp that area. So like, if you yeah, stamp- Yeah, I've stamped Yeah, if you stamp yeah. once and it's perfect. So yeah, if exactly. you stamp and we didn't get this end very well at all, See, I kind of missed that end there. 
we can find that again and kind of just give it a little wiggle and it'll kind of almost fall back into those tracks. And then we can restamp that area that had less. Yeah, so it gives you a, a little deeper over. there, but <laughs> but you can kind of do over with these a little bit. But so that's we, nice. Yeah. But the 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 rotating it around or kind of rocking back and forth a little bit will get a little bit even pressure and to keep it from when you pull it out, kind of just suctioning up. And I don't know what time is now either. So do you wanna? It's 5.41. We're doing okay? Yeah. Okay, well, we're doing better on time than I thought. Yeah, we're doing good. So- You got 10 more minutes. Okay. Uh, yeah, and you'll get, do the giveaway then? Yep, I'll give you 10 more minutes and then we'll do the giveaway. If you need a extra okay. time, I'll do the giveaway super fast. <laughs> no, I, think I, just, <laughs> I think everyone kind of gets the idea. Now it's the decorating phase and uh, that's where you can kind of get creative and everyone can kind of do their own thing. And I'm just going to come right around here. And attach these together. <laughs> I'm sorry, Stacy just posted the don't pick her because she's been winning too much lately. <laughs> she has definitely been winning too much. And if you pick her, everyone's going to think it's rigged. I, it's already been picked. I don't know who the winner is. I, I only, <laughs> it's been drawn. I haven't seen the actual uh, name Kevin yet. Better. I won't see it until. We announce it. If it's Stacy, he's going to have to run back over and draw another name. He's going to have to draw another name if it's her. He's looking at me kind of funny. Uh oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> now, see, if Stacy had been here and helped me, she would have made sure my clay was just right before I started this. So it's her fault. Yep. <laughs> Okay, well, we did two sides. I think that's probably good enough. Everyone will kind of get the idea of how that goes together. Um, let's put a bow on here. I don't have a handle on yet, but... I love your bows. I think they're really cute. Thank you. They're kind of fun to make. I kind of just was winging it, but once you do one and it works, you kind of just continue there. So I had my handle here, and that's why I was saying sometimes it's better to maybe put the pieces on separate because if the handle's back here a little ways, then this has to kind of go back here and then bend down. You see what I'm saying? But we're just going to put this on the corner because I think it would be really cute maybe. And then maybe it will stick on the side. But I think we can just stick it down on here and be cute and just do one, I think is, I think that's cute. So... And this would be a good one to cover up on an area where we join, but I don't have one of those in the center. So let's just find the spot here. Let's stick those down too. that's going to hold together pretty well. So there is our one side with the bow, no handle. So this one, it's kind of down on that, I guess, kind of like a scalloped lace border is what you would think of it as. And then this one, these are done up a little bit further on the handle. 
So I'm excited to see how other people decide to finish these and get creative with them. Are there any other questions then, things to do other than, I think we they're covered so everything. Cute, I know everybody thinks they're so adorable. I do have a few people, we mentioned the giveaway that we're doing tonight, asking how, how, how to enter. enter. And you just <laughs> go to clayshare.com and you sign up for our email list and that's it. Now premium members are automatically entered. So you guys Yay. don't have to do anything except sit there and relax. But everybody else, if you want to get in, and Debbie's going to be uh, the sponsor the entire month. So are we doing giveaway next week? I know you won't be joining us because you are going to be. You know, I will your, be traveling to Mich yeah. Michigan Mud is uh, yeah. the next weekend. So I will be traveling there. So I'll be here doing something. Actually, I'll, I'll talk about that in a sec, what I'll be doing, because it's a big deal, actually. So, But uh, maybe we'll do a giveaway still next week, even though you I won't be here. I think we could probably still do a giveaway next week. Yeah. Yeah. So sign up today if you didn't sign up yet. So anybody have anything uh, to ask of Debbie before she goes and I announce the winner of the giveaway? So we got a hint, hint for some fruit stamps. Yes, um. <laughs> we have a few. And um, as soon as I made this, I thought, why didn't I do a strawberry? That yeah, some strawberry stamps would have been perfect. I have a strawberry stamp, but it's a bigger stamp. So I'm planning on making a, a one inch one. It might be the mini um freebie for next month i didn't think of it in time for this month this month's free with purchase is this cute little mushroom i don't know if you can I see it well saw well, that it's so cute yeah yeah i love cute. it i actually thought it would be a really cute mushroom basket so i believe i will be making one of these with your mushroom pin and oh. Doing so cute. a mushroom border because I think that'll be a lot of fun. So this is going free in everyone's um, everyone's order for the entire month of June. So That's um, yeah, get we your might... mushroom freebie and we'll code. Even... Yeah, Go share ahead. the code too. No, no, I want I want you to you get your well, freebie of the we'll mushroom. Either get a, we'll get either get a strawberry mini made between now and then, or it may be the July freebie. Okay. Yeah. But if you want the mushroom one, you have to order in June, right? Yeah. And you want the discount. Yeah. And you want to order in June to get that discount. You, you want that <laughs> discount. <laughs> awesome. Debbie, thank you so much. I always love being with you and having you join us anytime, not just when you're a sponsor, but anytime that you can be here with us on Clayshare. All right. Debbie won't be with us next thank week. Thank you. She'll come back and join us for a tutorial. So I'll give her since she's traveling next week. All right, so we're gonna be doing the giveaway of a $50 gift certificate, gift certificate to De La Design Gifts. Now it's $70 for international winners, so that's to help offset the shipping when we ship international. And everybody else, if you wanna save, you can save 15% off on Debbie's website, that's DeLaDesignGifts.com, and the code is June Clay Share, all capital, and that'll get you 15% off. Now my premium members, one of your member perks of being a premium member of Clayshare is you get extra discounts from our sponsors. So Debbie is doing 20% off for our premium members and that code has been shared in the Clayshare Prime website, so claysharepime.com, and in this past Monday's Good Morning Clayshare. And we'll send an email out to premium members so you guys will get that. If you're not a premium member yet, it's super easy to sign up. Just go to clayshare.com or go to your app store and download the Clayshare app and you can sign up there. And then you get all of our amazing premium level content, which is hundreds of classes, thousands of videos, private broadcasts, and the Clayshare Prime website. Okay, y'all ready? The winner of the gift certificate for De La Design Gifts is going to Donna Baird. Donna Baird, congratulations, my dear. You're gonna get to go shopping at De La Design Gifts. So uh, I'm so excited. Thank you, Debbie, for being this month's sponsor and that amazing tutorial with your cute little basket. Now we do have three other basket tutorials on Clayshare. I have two other hand-built ones and a wheel throwing one. So we have something for everybody. So you can check those out. One of the hand building ones is a woven basket and we use an extruder, but I have a non-extruder option. We also have a fold up basket, kind of like what Debbie did, but not nearly as cute. Debbie's is much cuter than the one I did. 
So check those out. And then wheel throwers, we have a great wheel thrown basket as well. All right, so next week, June... 14th is the day before Clay Share Day, which is June 15th. And Clay Share Day is Clay Share's birthday. It's our sixth birthday. Woohoo! So next Wednesday, we're going to be doing some giveaways. We're actually giving away three six packs of the new Amico Flux Glazes. And we're going to have some other freebies. I think we're going to have a couple rolling pins. And I've got some other things that I've kind of been holding back. So we're going to do that next Wednesday in the live broadcast. And again, to sign up for the giveaways, go to clayshare.com and sign up for our emails. Premium members, you're automatically entered. I just love saying it that way. Um, what other news do we have? Well, there's not going to be a prime broadcast next because we have family visiting who I haven't seen in 13 years. He's sitting over there. He's been watching the broadcast. So Kevin's brother, my brother, drove the last four days. This poor man has been driving and he just got here. So we're going to have dinner with him and hang out with him and spend some family time together this evening. But tomorrow we're going to have a brand new hand building class, the tea infuser. Some of you saw this on Monday morning's broadcast cast with the templates and everything we do the glazing the whole nine yards you get it from start to finish that full length class only for premium members is going to be out tomorrow so you can learn how to make your very own tea infuser it'll be out at uh, 12 noon eastern time so that'll be available for you all then and you can watch it and start making all these fabulous infusers all right, so that's what we have this week. Next Wednesday, super exciting because it's our big Clay Share Day broadcast for our live and our prime time. So come back and see us then, premium members. I'll see you all Monday morning. And don't forget to come watch the class tomorrow. You're going to love this. All right, everyone, take care, be well, and make great pots.